Families from Virginia and Maryland are taking their fight over medical marijuana to Capitol Hill. They're voicing their support of a federal bill on medical marijuana. Northern Virginia Mayor Chief Jeff Goldberg live on the Hill with the family's reasons for this push. Jeff. Well, Allison, Senator Cory Booker saying today that the federal government has overstepped the bounds of common sense when it comes to medical marijuana. Two local parents agree, and now they are taking their efforts on this subject from Annapolis and Richmond to here in Washington. That medical marijuana actually helps. As three prominent U.S. senators lobbied to reform marijuana laws. So I think society is changing. Two moms sat watching at the edge of their seats. It was enthralling. It was exciting. Beth Collins of Fairfax, Virginia, and Shannon Moore of Frederick, Maryland, both have children with severe epilepsy. They say marijuana oil, legalized in Virginia this year and in Maryland last year, has reduced their children's seizures dramatically, and it's now time to take the effort national. Right now, the current law is turning parents into criminals. I think what this has given me is hope. This is our last chance at something that might help them. Republican Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky, along with Democratic Senators Kirsten Gillibrand of New York and Cory Booker of New Jersey, are proposing a bill to end the federal ban on medical marijuana, as well as allow doctors to prescribe marijuana to veterans and allow marijuana dispensaries to work with banks just like other businesses do. Seeks to right decades of wrong and end unnecessary marijuana laws. T.J. Thompson is a retired Navy officer from Chesapeake, Virginia, seeking medical marijuana without breaking the law. I'm also a criminal in the United States of America, the country I decided to volunteer six years of my life to stand up and fight for freedoms. We're going to make it pass, aren't we, yeah. Shannon? The moms are going to make it pass. The moms are going to make it pass. If nobody else does, we'll do it. A lot of passion here today, no question about it. When asked about the chances of this bill passing, Senator Gillibrand said she would dare any other U.S. senator to, to take a look at the patients and families there today and tell them that they do not deserve the medicine that is improving their health and quality of life. Live on Capitol Hill, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News.